Since the beginning of the war, Hamas says that more than 33,000 Palestinians have been killed. According to the US government, that includes 25,000 women and children. The Israeli government disputes these figures. Well, the head of the Palestinian mission to the UK, Ambassador Hussam Zomlot, is in the studio with me tonight. Thank you for coming in to speak to us here at Sky News. Um, six months on, it's a time for a reflection. We were just speaking there about the figures. Behind those figures, of course, are people. What are the people of Gaza going through right now? Yeah, but why did you have to say uh, that uh, the numbers are disputed? Why do we have to say always that these are Hamas numbers? These are international organizations that are there and have vetted these numbers. And by the way, the number 33,000 is a big underestimation. We are waiting for the worst because there are thousands of people who are still under the rubble, uncounted for. There are thousands who are missing. So this is the absolute minimum number. Uh, uh, more than 100,000 Palestinians uh, maimed, I, uh... maimed, maimed and killed. And this, no, this is very important, Saima. Always we are interrogated, always our story is disputed, and always the story of the occupier, the aggressor, the colonizer, the besieger is taken for granted. It's unacceptable. This uh, is unacceptable. I appreciate what you're saying. What, what we and the try United to Nations, do is the include everyone's perspective. No, 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 no. Media but I appreciate what you're saying. The United Nations often says the Hamas figures are, are true to and, and what the United they Nations 